Hey guys, and welcome back to the Santa Spricks. My name is Jevin, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can build your own Lego trees. Now this is another segment in our Brick Tip series where I show you guys different Lego techniques and way to use cool and interesting pieces. And if you guys want to see more of those, be sure to click the link right up here. So like I said before, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build some trees, and more importantly, I'm going to show you three different ways of how you can accomplish this. So, let's get building. Now when you're building a Lego tree, you have to consider two different parts, the trunk and the leaves. Now the leaves are really easy because Lego actually makes a bunch of these green leaf-shaped pieces. So then all it's left to build is the trunk. So for our first and most simple tree, you can just use these Lego pillar pieces for your trunk. They're just a one by one pillar. You can see some of them are rounded, some of them have the sharp edges and are rectangular. So then once you have the trunk, you can just attach the leaves to the top of your tree, just like so. And while this is a really fast and easy way to build a tree, it doesn't look all that great. So now let's move on to our second type of tree. So to build our next tree, we're going to use just some regular Lego bricks. Now for this tree, it's nice to have a good variation in type of brick. For example, you can see here I have some of the typical regular Lego bricks, but I also have some with some texture on the side. This will just give your tree a little bit more depth. But you also need one other type of piece, and that is these pieces here. These are what we will use for the branches of our tree, where we will connect the leaves. So now let me build this and show you what I mean. So now that we've built our trunk, all it's up to do is to add the leaves. So as you can see, this tree looks a lot better as compared to the last one, but we can still make it a little bit better. So now let's move on to our final and third tree. So for this tree, you're going to want to build a column that looks something like this. As you can see, this is mostly made up of regular bricks, but I also have some snot bricks inside here. Now snot stands for studs not on top, which means it has studs on the side, and those will allow us to add on some side panels. And now those side panels are going to look like this. As you can see, I have a base here. This one is actually four wide, and then I have this plate here, which is risen up off of that, and it is two wide. Now you can really make this any size you want, or height that you want. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put these side panels all the way around our column, which will give it a round, curved look. So like I said before, now that we have those side panels on, it gives the tree a circular look. Now around the very bottom of your tree, you're going to want to add some sort of slope to kind of cover up the gap in between your tree and the base. In this case, I'm going to use these cheese wedge slopes. So next for the branches, we're going to want to add a slope piece like this, and this can just connect onto the side of our tree just like so. Then onto that, we're going to want to put a snot brick onto the end, and this will allow our leaf to connect to our branch. And then we'll put another slope piece onto the end in order to make it look very clean and flush. So now all it's up to do is to add our leaves. As you can see, compared to our last ones, this one is a lot more round and looks a lot more natural. And so, there we have our Lego trees. Alright guys, and so those are the three different ways of how you can build your very own Lego trees. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more cool videos like these, be sure to click subscribe right down there.